now what's the properties on matrix multiplication it is important to know the properties because later in uh, set theory again we use it in, you know in finding out whether it is a group or a billion group so watch it uh, first of all matrix multiplication is associative associative means if you have a b c you can either multiply a b first or b c first and then you can multiply the result later so whatever way you perform the uh, matrices matrix multiplication the final result is going to be same and one more thing before you apply any of these matrices first thing has to be always uh, apply that they are conformable for multiplication once the matrices are multiplicative uh, conformable which means they are multiplicate they are you know uh, they are eligible to be for multiplication then they are associative right and the next one is matrix multiplication multiplication is distributive with respect to addition of matrices it means that if you have addition of matrices b plus c then multiplication is distributive over the addition so a into b plus c is going to be a b plus a c that is the meaning of it and next one is matrix multiplication is commutative so commutative means okay is not commutative uh, is not commutative means uh, like this a into b uh, a into b need not always be equal to b into a i cannot say that a into b is not equal to b into a what i mean to say is a into b need not always be b into a okay try to understand the difference uh, even though i am saying that matrix multiplication is not commutative it does not mean that always a into b is not equal to b into a it means that sometimes a into b uh, always a into b may not be equal to b into a that is the meaning of it i think i think this is uh, uh, okay let me explain it again see what i mean to say is whenever whenever you have matrices a into b and then b into a these two may or may not be equal and they may not always be equal if they are always equal then we can say that they are commutative since they may not be always equal therefore we are saying that uh, you know uh, they are not commutative are you getting this see what i mean to say is they are not they may not always be equal sometimes they may be equal sometimes they may not be equal for example if you take this uh, uh, let's say a see first of all uh, one more thing if a into b is possible it need not necessarily mean that b into a is also possible the reason is if number of rows here is equal to so number of columns in a is equal to number of rows in b then multiplication is going to be possible but then when i reverse it b into a that may not be possible at all even if they are possible they may not be equal okay i think i am confusing you i'll take an example and i'll explain you here see if a equal to let's say i'll take a small example hmm. okay and b equal to uh let's say okay now both a into b and b into a are possible because it is 2 by 2 and it is 2 by 2 matrix right so a into b is going to be if i multiply these two it is going to be 0 and uh, this one is going to be 1 and this one is going to be minus 1 and this one is going to be 0 right and now if you find b into a right now this row and this column this one is going to be 0 and then this one and this one this one is going to be minus 1 and then this one and this one this one is going to be 0 and then this one and this one this one is going to be zero right i i i don't know if i did it right or wrong but anyway both are different so here you can see that a into b is not equal to b into a but then you can come up with examples where a into b equal to b into a but you cannot say that they are commutative even if there is one example for which a into b is not equal to b into a that is enough to say that they are not commutative right so i mean the property is not commutative therefore the uh, matrix multiplication property itself is not commutative right and next one is 
if the, if you find any two matrices in such a way that a into b equal to b into a then the two matrices a and b are set to commute right so a and b two matrices are commutative in case if a into b equal to b into a so this is applicable only for those two matrices right and next one is if a into b is equal to minus ab minus b into a they are said to be anti commute later we shall use these definitions again they have some interesting properties also we shall see them later but for now understand that if a equal a into b this is just a definition here okay if a into b equal to minus b into a then they are said to anti commute now the equation a into b equal to 0 does not necessarily mean that one of the two matrices a and b are uh, you know zeros so what it means is if you have two matrices if you have any equation like this in general um, in real numbers in real numbers or natural numbers in generally no normal multiplication normal scalar multiplication what happens is if product of two numbers is equal to 0 it so happens that at least one of them is going to be zero right but then that particular rule is not applicable for matrices the reason is even if a into b is equal to zero it it doesn't necessarily mean that one of them is a null matrix i'll just give you an example let us say mm, a is 1 0 1 0 0 and then b is 1 0 0 0 right now if you multiply them it is going to be 0 right and then 0 and then 0 and then 0 right so a into b is equal to 0 but then either a or b is not 0 right that is the specialty of matrix multiplication when they are equal to 0 it is it is very much different from normal multiplication right that is why it is important and next one is if a into b equal to 0 then it doesn't necessarily mean that b into a equal to 0 right so maybe you can take some other example and you can show the same so even if this is 0 the reverse need not be 0 right so just uh, see if this example is suitable yeah so a into b is clearly equal to 0 let's see b into a b into a is 1 this is b 1 0 0 0 and a is 0 1 0 0 now if you multiply them you are going to get 0 and then 1 and then 0 and then 0 right clearly b into a is not equal to 0 right so even if a into b is equal to 0 b into a need not be 0 so these are all the properties of matrix multiplication we have few more properties we shall see them okay